Hello friends, in this video we will see how to install software using a source package. So I uh, have you gone to httpd.apache.org so we'll install an Apache server. So I'll download the latest release. I'll use the 2.2.17 or okay we'll use this version. I'll download the file. So when I click downloads we get a lot of versions here. So I'll download a stable release here 2.2.17 so I'll use a tar gz, you can use a, a bz file or tar gz file so I'll use a tar gz file I'll save this file so it'll take 4 minutes to download so we'll download the file, meanwhile I pause this video So the download is almost complete. So we'll go to the downloaded folder. So we're currently in downloaded folder. You can see it will be downloaded to slash home slash mac slash downloads. We'll do ls. So you can see this is being downloaded here. We'll do tar minus xv xvzf and we'll untar the file less so we have the folder created here extracted unpacked form of uh, the tar file so we'll get into the folder I do ls so we need to uh, configure use the configure command here you can see the configure shell script we have so we use so we, I want to install Apache with the PHP module so we have to use some options like enable so and we'll also use enable ci but the enable enable so is very important to enable a PHP later so we'll use dot, dot slash configure dot slash configure so I'll use a few options here I'll do control R control R is used to uh, use a previously used command I've used this command a few minutes ago so I can use this command you can see that I'm using dot slash configure double hyphen enable so enable cgi enable ssl enable rewrite so we are all en uh, enable my we are enabling all these modules so you used you have to use this configure so it's dot slash is in the current directory we have a configure file so i need to be a root user to execute this to install any software so after this i'll say enter so it checks for the status it's, it looks for some libraries if some library is missing see it says uh, configuring Apache portable runtime library and it's configuring all the files it's checking for some modules it's checking for some libraries it's checking for the data types it will take a large amount of time to actually install Apache so it's compiling from the source For first it checks the source whether it has the essential tools and then it, when we do make it compiles the source code files and creates binary executables to execute can see it's checking for many files many libraries library functions C compilers conio.h C type dot it's, it's looking for all the C libraries input output libraries Excuse me. So 
So it's checking for the processors, check for, checking for locking. It's checking for the file information support. UID, OS UID support. Time support, networking support, IPv6. It will also check the IPv6 networking support. So now it's creating a configure status and it's also configuring the Apache Portable Runtime Utility Library. So once the configuration is complete, we can start compiling the source code file using the make command. So it says some configure error has no, no recognized SSL or TLS toolkit detected. So we'll see what exactly this error is in the internet. So we have to uh, satisfy all the conditions. If something is wrong, we cannot compile that program again. So we'll check this error. We'll have we'll check this out what exactly is the error, how it can be fixed. So a person says that you should have the lib SSL DV develop uh, on Debian installed. So we need to install a uh, open SSL. So we'll install this. Okay, we have some answer here. So we'll use app get install open SSL. So it'll install it, it download a package of 3.467 and it'll install two newly installed packages you can see this one so we'll say yes y and press enter so whenever we some want some software to be installed it will be looking for some dependencies if we don't have that dependency then we need to install and satisfy the dependency and then install the actual software So in Windows you might think it's very easy to install softwares but again in Linux uh, it's a little challenge to install any software. So once you install the software it's like uh, Linux will be more stable uh, than Windows machine. There are many servers which has not been rebooted from past 2-3 years Linux servers but Windows machines most of the time uh, they need they need to be restarted if the load on the server is too much and it hangs it becomes unresponsive sometimes so Linux servers and Unix servers and Solaris service are are, uh, are the preferred servers in the market so Linux and Unix servers run for m many years without 
having given a single reboot Now the open SSL is installed, libssl dv also installed, so now we'll do the configure command again. So if we get any other error, we have to satisfy that dependency, we have to get rid of that error.
so you can see it's it created a configure status now so once the uh, configure status everything is successful we don't get any error then we can start compiling using a command make so the make command will compile all the files all the source files and create binaries so it will take a lot of mo a lot of time to compile so meanwhile i'll pause this video so we can see that the make is complete now so now we have to do make install so it will install the apache web server so you can see it can it will create user local apache folders user local apache error folders icons logs so it will install header files you can see now it's installing the binary fields which uh, files which have been compiled from the source files so once the installation is complete we can check whether the apache server is running or not can we give a web request to the local server So it's completed installing all the files. So let's see whether the Apache server is installed or not. So to start the server, we need to use slash etc httpd. Okay, let's see slash user local Apache bin httpd start. Okay, we have command here we don't have a command we have minus k start so we'll see in the browser whether we are able to access the local server local host so it says it works you can see the Apache server is complete. The installation of the Apache server is complete, so it's working. So this way we can install an Apache server. We'll say stop, and now we we'll try to access the same location. do a clear recent it okay so now it says unable to connect because we have stopped the server so it's unable to connect now so again if we start the server so again we try you can see it it works so this signifies that we have installed on a local machine you can also use 127.0.0.1 you see it gives the same uh, result so this way we can install an Apache so web server so it just gives an, a web it takes a web request right now so we can uh, make it configure uh, for the HTTP we'll see that in the next video thank you for watching this video